How's my breath? How's my breath? It's good? Okay. Hey guys, I'm Shayna and this is my French Bulldog, Luke, also known as Luke Cage. <laughs> um, so today we want to give you the pros and the cons on having a Frenchie. So you might be looking at Frenchies to purchase and you're just like, should I get one? Should I not get one? Don't worry, I've been there. Um, obviously, the short answer is yes, you should get one. I love my Luke so, so much. Um, but there are pros to having a French Bulldog and there definitely are cons. So I'm going to just give you a quick little rundown on the pros and the cons of having a French Bulldog. So I made my list of pros and cons of French Bulldogs and literally the pros outweighed the cons. When I thought of them, let me count. Luke is in play mode right now so he's like really distracted by everything I do. Um, Dead my bubba. That's my little boy. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, four cons. And then I have one, two, three. <laughs> and then I have one, two, three, four, five, six pros. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start with the cons first because I feel like, you know, Let's just get the elephant in the room addressed. There are definitely cons to having French Bulldogs. If you've been doing a little bit of research, these cons are going to be very familiar. They're going to sound very familiar. So I'll probably just confirm some of the thoughts that you've been having about French Bulldogs. <laughs> and then um, maybe, maybe I have some cons that you haven't heard about. So listen closely. All right, so the first con to having a French Bulldog is the gas. This little, little guy lets out the worst gas that I've ever smelled in my entire life. And it's silent but deadly. It's one of those. It's like, like I rarely hear Luke pass gas. I do hear it sometimes, but the ones that really, really smell so, so bad are the ones that I don't like hear. But then all of a sudden, the entire room will just be filled with a, just a terrible, terrible smell. So, you guys, it is true. Um, it's just something that com comes with the breed. Looks just gassy. They're heat tolerance. So, you guys, if you're thinking about getting a French Bulldog and, you know, you want to have a dog that you can maybe take a jog with, um, go for a long, nice walk, this is not the breed of dog that you want to get. Luke can barely handle just walking outside to pee. And by the time that we get inside, he is just like exhausted. He will just plop right there on the kitchen floor and he'll lay there until he notices that I pour him some water. So these guys, they cannot have just strenuous exercises. If you're thinking about getting a French Bulldog and you're really, really energetic and you want to go out and run there and you want to maybe take your French Bulldog on a run with you, not a good idea. You'll know exact. They'll probably just stop like right there in the middle of the run anyway because they're not going far. So my third con um, for a Frenchie is that um, it's kind of like along the lines of the heat tolerance. It is that they're always thirsty. So again, they get exhausted really quick so they need to keep themselves hydrated. So a lot of times like what Luke will do is he'll go by his bowl and he'll just lay there. And I know that it's not time for food, like maybe, you know, he's not, he maybe has just gotten done eating or I know that it's just not time for dinner, but he'll just lay by his bowl and like he'll kind of lick it even though that he's, even though the bowl's empty, he'll just lick it. So the fourth con on the list, and this is the last con, but honestly like this should have been number one because it has been the one that I've had the most trouble adjusting to. It's the shedding, you guys. So in this video, I purposely wore black because I wanted you guys to see um, that before I started this video, I had, you know, no dog hair on me. And just sitting in this chair for the five to ten minutes that I've been sitting down, my clothes are covered in dog hair. Um, this chair here, which he's never sat in this chair before, but this chair, I'm going to have to get a serious lint roller because the chair is also covered in dog hair. I've tried to brush him twice daily. Um, there's just like, no matter the amount of brushing that I do to him, he just sheds. And so if you have, like think about too, like what, what kind of furniture you have, what color French Bulldog are you gonna get? Um, because, you know, depending on your furniture and if you're gonna let your dog on your furniture, they're gonna do some damage because they do shed. Also, if you're like me and you have allergies, you really have to do like a number on cleaning your furniture and just cleaning your carpet because 
if I go if I go like too many days without vacuuming my carpet, I just start uncontrollably sneezing because you know there's just like pet dander and pet hair everywhere. So he really like sheds so much to where I've had to kind of up my cleaning game. So I just so happened to get the color dog that matches my couch exactly. So my couch is tan just like he is. So if I let him on the couch, which he's not allowed on our furniture because of the shedding, but if I let him on the couch, I wouldn't even notice that he sheds because he just blends in perfectly with the couches. He also happens to blend in with my carpet. So the reason that I started noticing that he sheds so much is because he was getting it on my clothes. Like a day like today, for example, I would be like, why do I have so much dog hair, you know, on me? And then I had to like do my research and then I realized, oh, okay, French Bulldogs, they do, they shed a lot, so. But Luke is not allowed on the couch. Luke is not allowed on the bed. Luke is not allowed in my truck because he just sheds just far too much. And I, I mean, it's to the point where I would just have to get my truck detailed every time that he was in it because he sheds that much. I know that was the last con, but it's really the first con because that is like the biggest deal in my head is that how much this dog sheds and I had no idea. So. All right, so now that we've gotten the cons out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the good stuff, right? Like, let me give you some compelling reasons why you should get a Frenchie because there are so many great reasons, you guys. I wanna focus on the breed. I don't wanna get into like what Luke does. It's like so cute and that's why you should get a Frenchie because maybe like some of the things that Luke does your dog might not do. So I wanna be breed specific on this. Breed specifically, these are the pros of having a French Bulldog. All right, so number one on my list for pros of having a French Bulldog is that cute stance. Okay, so you guys, these dogs don't get that big at all. Um, Luke actually, when he was four months, when he was four months, we met a full grown French Bulldog at the dog park and Luke was bigger than that French Bulldog. So they do come in all shapes and sizes, but generally French Bulldogs do not get that big. Um, but they have this stance about them when they're like looking out yonder that it's like they're just so beefy and masculine and it's just so cute. Small in stature, but big at heart. You know what I mean? I just love, love, love that little stance. It's just the cutest, cutest little thing. I have gum in my mouth, so he's trying to <laughs> smell my breath. You already know that from my list of cons, you cannot exercise and do a lot of physical activity with this dog because, and this is a pro for me, you guys, these dogs are so, so lazy. Luke is like the laziest dog I've ever met in my life. I kid you not, I've never met a lazier dog than Luke. I'm talking about when I wake him up in the morning to let him outside, it's like waking a child up. Seriously, it's like... He's looking at me like, why are you waking me up? I was asleep. All he does, all Luke does is chill. Like, I know that he's really active right now. It's because I just got home. But um, Luke is so chill. He's so, so, so lazy. And I know that that's really common for French Bulldogs. And um, I read that they're really good apartment dogs. I happen to live in an apartment. So um, they're good apartment dogs because they're super chill. But I'm telling you, like... If you have a French Bulldog that you think is lazy, that might be a little bit more lazier than Luke, like leave a comment below and let me let me know what your dog does that leads you to believe that they're so lazy. But you guys, I kid you not, I'm at home pretty much all the time. So I spend a lot of time with Luke. And when I tell you like 75 to 80% of Luke's time is just spent relaxing and sunbathing and just laying down and sleeping. That's all Luke does. He does not miss any sleep. So that's definitely a pro in my book because, you know, I just wanted like a chill, relaxed dog anyway. So I'm so glad that I got one. All right, so the third pro about French Bulldogs is that French Bulldogs are so, so friendly, so, so lovable. I feel like as much love as Luke wants to receive, he also wants to give. Like, I'm having to take so many breaks from doing this video right now because he's just so, so, like, all over me. Like, I feel like he thinks that since we're, like, right here, he just needs to be all up on me. If ever he has any other human interaction ever, Luke is, like, overjoyed. He just gets so excited to meet people. He gets so excited, like, if people come over or if we're at the dog park. I honestly think that Luke gets more excited to meet humans than he gets to meet dogs. Like... He plays with dogs, he doesn't mind playing with a good dog, but when he interacts with humans, it's like that's when he's at his best. He really, really, really loves just 
I guess it's like maybe attention. I don't know if he loves attention or I don't know if it's just that. I don't know what it is, but he really is so friendly. And this is coming from a person who my prior dog was like not friendly at all. My I had a Yorkie poo and she was just like, nope. She just liked me and my husband, that is it. She didn't like anyone else. So I've had a super unfriendly dog before, so it is really refreshing to have a dog that's just like, hey guys, like he talks, he just interacts with anyone. It's just so refreshing. Thank you for being refreshing. You're a refreshment. Are you a refreshment? Are you my little refreshment? Whoa, you're my refreshing dog. You're a little refreshing. This is a really good one. So I have it listed as a pro, but you guys, a lot of people have it listed as a con and I just don't understand. So I've read so much and heard so much about French Bulldogs being stubborn and I'm just like, now that I've had Luke for what? I've had him for maybe three or four months or something like that. This is the most, I, like I said, lovable, most unstubborn dog I've ever met. I mean, he was easy to train. You know, he, I mean, he listens. Look, if you've ever had a little brother, if you've ever had a kid, I mean, for as long as you know how to give direction, a French Bulldog will take direction. Any dog will take direction. So I beg to differ that French Bulldogs are stubborn. He's not stubborn at all. Like if he's moving around that right now, if I told him to stop, he would stop. You know, if I told him to go get in his cage right now, he'd go get in his cage. So he's not reluctant to do anything that any other dog wouldn't be reluctant to do. Like sometimes we're outside and he doesn't want to come inside. Well, that's not because he's stubborn because he's a French Bulldog. That's because he's a dog and he just doesn't understand like, okay, buddy, we need to go inside, you know, because I have to go to work or because you're going to get too worn out because of the heat. He does, he's a dog, you know what I mean? So when they say that French Bulldogs are stubborn, I've never had a moment where I've just been like, oh my goodness, you're so stubborn, you French Bulldog, you know, like, it, I don't think that's a thing. Um, I, I don't want, here's the thing about buying a dog, here's the thing about choosing a breed that you think that you really want. It's like, you know, don't overthink it. It's like, don't think too much about what the dog may or may not do because I'm here to tell you, like, you just have to be patient. And you know, again, I think for as long as you're willing to be patient and, and give direction and proper direction, I don't think you're going to worry about stubbornness, you know, at all because Luke is, is anything but stubborn. French Bulldogs are super, super quiet. Um, very, very chill, like I said, super lazy, like half the time they're going to be asleep anyway, um, but very quiet. Like only time that I would hear Luke bark is if there was like a, a you know, knock at the door or something like that. Honestly, like more times than not, I have to like, if I'm just sitting on the couch like watching TV or doing my homework or something, I'll have to look around and if I don't see him, I'll be like, where's Luke? I'll have to say that out loud for Luke to present himself. And then half the time he's like over there in the corner sleeping or something like that. As long as Luke is fed, as long as Luke is not thirsty, as long as Luke is not like playing, Luke is asleep or he, he's like relaxing. He is the quietest thing. Okay, and so the last pro that I have for French Bulldogs is that they are so cute. Just the, the way that they're heads are kind of like squished together and their ears are so huge like they're just the cutest little things hey brows on buddy okay look 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 let's just chill right here look right here right here bud right here buddy <laughs> you are ridiculous all right, well, Luke just wants to lay here like a baby. I tried to position him so that you guys could say bye to us and he could say bye to you guys. But you guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments on future content that we should make or if you have anything to add to the Frenchie pros and cons list, don't forget to leave a comment below. And last but not least, you guys, we are part of the Instagram Frenchie community. So follow Luke on Instagram at Luke Cage underscore the Frenchie. We'll see you in the next video and we'll see you on IG. Bye guys. Can you say bye? <laughs>